terrifying crash happened this afternoon in Wallingford where many witnesses stood by. News 8's Noelle Gardner was on the scene all day. She joins us live now in News 8 Control with more. And Noelle, police have now released the victims' names, right? That's right, Aaron. Police say New Haven resident 52-year-old Timothy Rosa died in that accident. There were dozens of people there at the time of the crash. We have their reaction tonight. We heard a motorcycle speed up and it was like within a second, boom. And we thought it was like our backfire. Wallingford residents described the horrific accident that claimed the life of a New Haven man after his motorcycle collided with an SUV. I heard speeding, just speeding up a motorcycle, revving like as if, you know, he's, he's speeding up real quick and then within seconds, this big boom. According to investigators, the driver of the Honda Element was pulling out of Chester Avenue when the SUV collided with 52-year-old Timothy Rosa, who was heading northbound on Route 5 on his motorcycle. He died on scene. Employees at local businesses heard the crash and ran to help. Oh, I ran outside with one of them uh, customers here, and the customer, I saw him just dial 911 real quick. I came outside a few minutes later, and what you saw was a vehicle across the street, and um, and his bike all over the place. The driver of the SUV, 47-year-old Deborah Denhart, was transported to the hospital. Police know the point of impact, but they are still investigating the circumstances leading up to the crash. The accident is puzzling to residents who ran out to help. And I know he sped up a little bit here. I don't know if he's trying to avoid her or, or maybe um, just was speeding up. Police continue to investigate witnesses to this crash are asked to call the Wallingford Police Department. I'm live tonight in News 8 Control. Noel Gardner, News 8.